His brother built a separate room for his dog in the Oh, house. my God. That is... That is so cute with the little photos. They built a dog house. Are you ready? Yep. All right. <clears throat> Mama Frank on TV again! to ask don't worry about that all right what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of i don't even know it's not it's currently what's frank on tv okay so you can't do that right now why because i'm a little she has a leg on me um uh, so what are you doing my shirt was like this my left boob but anyway I decided that I don't even know if you want to call this like a wife tag or whatever you want, whatever people traditionally call these videos where people ask their spouse questions. I really wanted to do something different today, so I decided to just write down five random questions to ask my wife and get her reaction to the questions or the answer to the questions on film. So here we go. She has absolutely no idea what I'm going to ask her. And I really think that the suspense that I'm building right now by continuing to ask it's is so heartbeat fast. It's so pleasurable because I know she really just wants to know. Can I take a long time to answer? Can you take a long time to answer? <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. All right. So I'm gonna ask these out of order. I just these are absolutely completely random questions that I just came up with off, off the fly. Like so. They have absolutely no, like, no premise, no, there's no hidden meaning or reason why I'm asking these questions. Um, yeah. All right. Number one, what would you say is my weird, uh, what, what would you say, if I can get the damn question right, what would you say is my weird obsession? Weird obsession? What am I weirdly obsessed with? Superhero stuff? I'm weirdly obsessed with superhero stuff. Yes. Like what? How though? You have a whole like Batman snapback hat that looks like a kid's hat. Okay. You got Batman slippers. So I'm weirdly obsessed with Batman. Yeah. I'm weirdly obsessed with Batman. Okay, I am weirdly obsessed with Batman. I think, I think the story of Batman is like weirdly obsessive especially if you like know just a little bit of the backstory so okay i'll give you that i thought you were gonna say something like i have a weird like fetish or something like that no okay great all right so that was easy wasn't it that wasn't like bad all right cool number two what's the most annoying thing that i do to you make ugly faces <laughs> what <laughs> what ugly face do i make you know which ugly faces i'm doing that no, face? not just that one. No, that face? no, the one you do with all your teeth. No, he act, he acting like he don't know. What I don't know. Is. I okay. So chastity always get on to me about faces. Period. But I don't know specifically what face she's yes, talking you about. Do. Though. do it. You do it. You do it. That okay? That one creepy face that you make. Oh, make it to the make it to the camera. Talk about this one. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> oh man, like you have to really go to a dark place to smile like that mm -hmm. and keep a straight face. I just want you to know. That's comforting. Um, what would you do if you won the lottery today? Like Powerball is a, what, like 560 million, 550 million? If I won that much money? If you won that much money today, like what would you do? Like Start one. A few businesses. Like one, would you take the lump sum or would you take payments? Mm. Because if you take the lump sum, I think you only get like 400 or something million. I would take the lump because you never know what will happen like long term. Okay. All right. So what would you do with the money? Start a few businesses, invest, buy a couple of houses. All right. Some fun that you would do. That is fun stuff. Okay. Like adventurous stuff. That is adventurous. I'm thinking that she would just say like, I'm going to jump out of plane or something like no. that. Parachuting backpacking across Europe because you can't. No. Um, I don't want to go to Europe. Europe is your thing. I'm she, more of an Africa. She wants to go to Africa. Or Jamaica or to the Caribbean or Barbados. Okay. I'm almost done. That's what. 
You only right. asked me two questions. I only asked you three questions. Number four, if you were a superhero, what would your superpower be and why? Teleportation? 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 <laughs> Is that a word? You said teleportation. Teleportation. Yeah, it's a word. Yeah. But why? Because I can go anywhere I want at any time. And it won't take me a long time to get there. And I wouldn't have to play for, pay for an airplane. But you're a superhero though, like, so, but what would you do with that power to save lives though? Hey. Pop up in somebody's house and beat them up if I need to. But. Your only superpower is teleportation. You don't have like super strength. I know how to fight. You don't have to have super strength to save somebody's life. You just gotta be there. Okay. Word. Flights are expensive. <laughs> what? <laughs> you ain't gonna fly nowhere to save nobody's life. You ain't James Bond. James Bond. That you know of. Word. All right. Last question. What are you? Why are you always? <laughs> you're so nosy. I swear to God, Chastity is probably the, the nosiest person on the face of the planet. No. Nah, I know. No, you're right. I know a couple other people that are like just as nosy. Mm. Anyway, what are you thinking when I'm vlogging in public? Now I don't care. I used to care, but now I'm just like, whatever. But like, what did you used to care? Like, what was the thought that was going through your mind? Everybody's watching, but now I really don't care. What? I, you, that's it? Everybody's watching? Yeah. Like, has there been any moment whenever I've been vlogging in public and you were like, oh my God, I wish you would put this camera down? No. Like, ever? Because I know that's what you like to do. Like, ever, ever, ever? No. I would just get a little shy. And like walk a little bit ahead of you or a little bit behind, behind you. If you ever wonder why every like thumbnail that Chastity's in, she's like three or four feet behind me, that's why. What? That's not why. That is why. No, it's because most of the time I'm looking like this. What and is I don't this? wanna like like I'm oh. looking now and I just don't wanna be in the camera. That's why. So in other words, I begged and pleaded for her to do this right now. Yeah. But anyway, those were my five random questions. Uh, there was nothing juicy in there at all. Let me ask you juicy questions. Oh, Jesus. What question you got? Wait, wait, what would be juicy? Like, what, are, what is your definition of juicy? I don't know what a juicy question is. It just sounds like something that a girl would say. What's the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you in life? Oh, uh, the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me was in Miss Adams sixth grade fifth sixth grade reading or english class i remember it just like it was yesterday i got up to sharpen my pencil after miss adams blatantly says don't ask me can you get up to sharpen your pencil just get up and sharpen it she said those words so she was talking in class she was talking to the class and we were taking notes i needed to sharpen my pencil so I got up to sharpen it. Whenever I sat down in my seat after sharpening my pencil, she smacks me over the head with like this big ass stack of papers. I started to cry. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> so bring it back, bring up so old feelings. Everybody like laughed at me that day. Why did she hit you in the head with paper? She hit me in the head with a stack of papers. Why? And I don't know, it was her way of like reprimanding me for interrupting her while teaching. After she, listen, I'm not done. I was about to say, I wish she would do that to me. She smacked me over the head with those papers and everyone in class like laughed hysterically. And to this day, my classmates still ask each other whenever they get around me. Man, y'all remember that day Miss Adams hit Frank over the head with them papers? That was messed up. I Let me find Miss Adams. You've seen Miss Adams. Who? She goes to friendship. She goes to my church. For real? Yes. I'm gonna ask her the name. Why did you hit my husband yeah. in the head with that paper? Yeah. You embarrassed him. Yeah. Was... I feel okay, let me tell y'all. Like I feel like I am so protective of Franklin. Like anytime somebody screws him over or anything, I just What? You just I don't even know how to explain it, but I'm, I say this to say, I say that to say this. Is that how that goes? Yeah. I feel bad for anybody, any child or parent or anybody who ever tries to come for my child. Cause they are just, they're in for it. They're in for it. That's all you have to say to that? Nope. 
You don't agree that I'm over, I'm like protective of you? I, I, I don't think that there's anything that I need to say because I'm pretty sure that most people know that. You don't that. need to say nothing. <laughs> okay, so where do you see yourself in the next five years? Uh, I have no idea. That's not the right answer. I, I mean, but that's me being like honest. So you have no idea where you want to be in five years? I know what I want to be doing in five years. Yeah, what but do you want to be doing in five years? I want to... Personal and business. Uh, In five years in business, I would hope to, by that time, like, I hope by then that I have, like, steady, like, I guess you can say clients that I'm producing videos and photos and stuff for. Uh, that's, like, the business side, like, small part of it. But, like, the production part of the company creating multiple short films... Uh, and some online oh, oh. can't get my words out creating online shows that are specific for online and not shows that are like massively produced for like Netflix so, like, I'm talking about like a legit yeah like a legitimate l legitimately a YouTube channel where there every week there's a new episode of this specific show where you have people that are coming to cast specifically to put on YouTube or Vimeo or whatever the live, like the hot platform at the time is. That's what I want in the next five years. Okay, so what about personal? Personal? Mm -hmm. Who do you want to be as a person in five years? Who do I want to be as a person in five years? Mm -hmm. Um... I feel like I'm a pretty good person now. I, I I don't know like as far as like I don't know how I should answer that question. Am I supposed to be saying like I'm going to be this philanthropist? I want to be a successful person that other people can look up to to ask for advice from uh, where I messed up, where I went right, and like that's I want to be an influ influ. Uh, right? I want to be an influential person that can actually say the word influential. So that's your personal goal for the that's next five years? That's my personal goal for the next five years, to be a more influential person. Because there are people that have reached out to me and because they, they see part of what's going on behind that, like on this side of the camera, but mm -hmm. like the hard part, they don't see. Uh, and they don't see the mess ups. Um, and they honestly don't know at what status, what status or what's going on, like period. So like, I want to be even more, I want to be able to be on the good side of that and be like, yeah, man, everything went bad at one point, but yeah. not everything good. You know, that's, that's what I want. Ask me some, hey, you got some pretty good questions, cuz. Why do you call me that? That's know. another question. Why are you calling me cuz? No. Here's the question. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Fellas and ladies, please tell I me. I know I'm not the only this. one. Do you women call y'all boyfriends and husbands girl on whenever y'all are having conversations? On accident. It's always on accident. I be want to jump out the goddamn truck whenever <laughs> she do that. I mean, we be talking, and she will sit up here and say, "Girl, let me tell you." And I be want to like just jump out on, on the highway. I be want to open the door and jump out on seventy five and let the truck just keep on going. Like pull it's, a and no, pull a it's straight not a girl. Let me tell you, it be like I be I tell you something and I, I start to get emotional about. It. I just be like, "Girl," and I just word vomit. It's not that intentional. That, that just means cool. that just means that the conversation is that good. That, that's not cool at all. It's not. Oh, I'm sorry. See, it'd be different because, like, sometimes I call her. I, I'm like, bruh, and I don't be calling her bruh. Everyone knows that the word bruh is like. It is extremely like vast in the way that you it, use the word, bro. Yeah, but you do it in an intentional. I don't call you girl on purpose, and it's only happened like four or five times. It's not no. like a daily and weekly thing. This is false. No. Let me tell you why. How many times have I said that to you? I stopped counting. No, you're yes. lying. I stopped counting. Like you catch you, you catch yourself and stop. And I counted. No. I'm like, call the truth or shame the devil. It's only happened like two or three times. You're being dramatic. I'm not. He's being dramatic. I'm not. Acting like a girl. Dramatic. That's why you can't ever knock my head off my yeah, head. Yeah, because your head is too big. I think that's all my questions. No. You got one more? No, I don't have any more. All right. 
She don't have no more questions. And I'm pretty sure that we've recorded for probably about 10 or 15 minutes right now. So what I'm going to do is end this. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel, my version of the wife tag, couple tag. I don't know what this is. I do know that Chester to call me girl one more time. I'm pushing her out of my truck. I do not call you girl that much. <laughs> I really love getting on her nerves. As usual, guys, thank you so much for coming out and checking out my YouTube videos. But before you go, why don't you comment down in the comment section something that you and your bae or your boo like to do so I can take your ideas. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.